Now it's time for an insight session on service in retail. To conduct this session, may I invite Dr. Muhammad Tariq Aziz, Dean CBA, IOBAT, and CEO of CEO and Lead Consultant of CSQE, which is Center for Service Quality Enhancement, and Ms. Samiha Hussain Khan, Brand Manager, CSQE, requesting them to come to the stage and share their valuable insights. Assalamu alaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Usually, uh, we teachers don't want to take classes in the afternoon because just before the lunch, this is the most dangerous time. So uh, thank you very much for, I hope that we'll have a listen, patient listening. I would like to thank Bangladesh Brand Forum for giving us the opportunity to talk about service in retailing. Uh, it's a very difficult topic. Uh, today I'm standing in front of you. Service in retailing can't be explained within 35 minutes to 40 minutes. It's quite impossible. But what we'll try to do is talk about the dimensions and a few uh, aspects of service in retailing. In doing that, first I'd like to start with uh, the major challenges retailers are facing regarding the providence of service. At a class, a teacher a teacher who is 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 the question is, this is actually a challenge for our modern day retailers. Nowadays, we retailers, we keep on doing so many wonderful things. My special gratitude to my speakers who have already presented right before me. So many issues retail has addressed. I truly acknowledge that. But the question is, are we listening to our consumers or not? That's a challenge. So when the question of customer service come, when the question of delivering service come, that's actually a challenge. The power of listening to the consumers always happen within the stores. Retail doesn't take place in the head offices. Retail doesn't take place in the corporate towers. Retail doesn't take place you know, in, 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 in strategic levels. This is always takes place in the grassroots level. Uh, I worked eight or 10 years in retailing. I was the general manager. Ashraf is already the general manager of retail for, in, of our own. And a couple of brands. The question is, when management has the intention and the willingness to listen to its customers, actually, that point, retailing started. So the major challenge of providing service to the retailers is you have to listen to your consumers. So retail companies, they should have a mission and vision of first listening to our consumers. Because the moment you are listening to your consumers, that time a doorway opens. That doorway gives us enough opportunities to adopt, adapt, modify our delivered services. How many retail companies actually are willing and come forward to modify their services? Nowadays, I'm very proud to say that in, uh, in Bangladesh, most of the retailers, they are actually keen to provide and deliver high quality service. That's a wonderful scenario in Bangladesh right now. But this is actually an interesting fact I'd like to share with all of you. There is not a single accredited and globally recognized service quality standard in Bangladesh right now for retail industry, not a single one. Uh, this is the scenario where our center, Center for Service Quality Enhancement, we have actually decided to talk about this indexing called Service Quality Index. Bangladesh Brand Forum has come forward to be a part of our indexing. This is actually a very famous indexing, globally speaking. Uh, service quality indexing is not that popular, uh, particularly in South Asian region, but it is very popular all over the world. I'd like to mention a few uh, literature from the journals that recognize us. Like some of the journals, like this is an Elsevier journal, it recognizes service quality indexing. This is actually a contemporary management. So this is a theoretical part. They already recognize uh, service quality indexing in retailing. This is like a JSTOR journal, they recognize SQI, service quality indexing. This is actually a Malaysian journal, the IG. QRM, they recognize indexing. Uh, JD Power is a consulting house in Chicago. They already, every year, they publish service quality index for the car retailers all over USA. Uh, Federal Express, particularly in Europe, in all of their 217 stores, they already have introduced over the last two years service quality indexing. 
Why am I talking about this service quality indexing? If you look at the South Korean perspective, you will see that South Korean government has a registered body called Association for Consumer Research. They have ensured that if you are a service provider, you have to make sure your organization have service quality indexing. But the question is, banks, they have adopted service quality indexing. Why service quality indexing come when we start to talk about service in retailing? Because in retailing, being an academician, there are many factors we retailers, we actually apply. We use factors like responsiveness, we use factors like assurance, we use factors, factors like reliability, we use factors like uh, confidentiality of information, particularly in a modern global uh, digitized retail environment. We use so many factors, but this, whenever the question of service retailing comes, service quality index, this indexing actually can help us modern day retailers to incorporate all the globally prestigious and acknowledged as well as recognized indexes into the SQI model. It gives us an upper hand as a retailer. The upper hand is it's recognized globally as well as companies like Tesco, you can see in the screen. In Europe, uh, in more than 364 branches, they have introduced this concept called SQI, Service Quality Index. Why? For two reasons. Number one is they have introduced this concept so that they can get a regular feedback from their consumers, number one. Number two, they can actually monitor which branch is performing better than which branch. Branch-wise, whenever you're thinking about incentivize your branches, your employees as well as, as well as the branch itself, definitely the question of SQI comes. So, service quality actually, it's a very, very what to say, it's, it's a very shadowy area because let me tell you about one of my experience during my Arong days, as well as I was the business manager of Grundig Electronics in Bangladesh. I have seen that every retailer, each one of us sitting here, honorable my colleagues, whenever we are trying to provide the best quality of service, a, a minor mistake, maybe it was unintentional, a very minor mistake actually ruins the whole reputation. Do you agree with me? Yes, suppose, uh, let me share with you one experience. In Bragg Bank, when I was an Asian Vice President and Head of the Project Management Department, 2003-2004. At that time, in Bragg Bank, if you, there was a customer in Gulshan Bank, that's a banking retail. These customers' car was not permitted to park outside the branch, the car, his vehicle. And the bank provided the best quality of service to the customers. So when we are talking about service in retailing, this honorable customer, the moment he got the best quality of service from the bank, he got outside the bank and he see that he found that the local traffic sergeant did not permit his car to be parked outside the branch. He became furious, he became angry, and the whole impact, the branch manager was, got the hit. So the question is, service in retailing is very difficult. Maybe your server is not working. It takes you two minutes extra when you're standing in the line. Your service is jeopardized. Your, the pay slip that you have provided, the paper, maybe the paper was not printed of the right quality. Your service get hit. So service quality in retailing, it's a very delicate area. And I believe that actually delivery of service with truest commitment from the service provider's point of view, particularly in the retail industry, that actually help us to ensure that customers come back. All over the world, I can mention being an academician, hundreds and hundreds of literature that says that one thing should be assured when our retailers, we are trying to get the best quality of customer feedback. One thing, that is, if we can ensure the best quality of service is provided, 100%, we can call it optimum, based on the resources available in your hand. We can ensure that the customer will come back. Loyalty. Customer loyalty, actually, let me tell you a very interesting fact. There is a paper published in 2018, this year in March, in Copenhagen Business School. Uh, I was a reviewer of that paper. That paper says 17%, 17% of the customer they go to the retail stores in mid-Europe and in southern European retail stores. Do you know for what? 17%, 17%, any idea? Why they visit the retail stores? Any idea? Why that? It's okay, you're most welcome to share your ideas. 17%, it's a big number, right? So why they visit with their family? Brilliant, very close. Service, convenience, good. 17%, 17%. Because their need with their family when they visit the retail stores, actually, it's a pastime and entertainment. Can you believe that? 
when I was reading the, reading the article by Copenhagen Business School, I found out it is clearly mentioned that if you want to go out and have a good time, people all over the world have started to choose retail stores. So renowned retailers from Bangladesh, I have a question to you. How much actually we have, we are actually become successful in addressing that part, our stores. In Bangladesh, you know, there is a question of space constraint. I know that. We lack resources in many areas. I know that. There is a financial and budgeting issue also. I know that. But the question is, how much convenient, comfortable our customers' experience we have become successful in ensuring? When the customer walks into our store, can we say with 100% confidence that yes, it's going to be a beautiful experience for the customer. It's a retail experience. It's not about the product. Definitely product comes a big part. Price, service, definitely. But the question is, the total environment, this customer, the kind of amount of time the customer spends in the retail store, walking here and there with his family, are we confident? That are we, can we make sure that this customer, actually his time, one and a half hour, or 30 minutes, or 45 minutes, we have become successful in ensuring that this customer actually enjoyed his experience within our store. So that has become a truest challenge for retailers. In that part, I'd like to say that servicing in retailing has become a genuine challenge for retailers like us. Particularly from a third world perspective, so many issues are there, right? So many issues are, suppose like in many retail stores, from my experience I can say that many retail stores, suddenly the power cut is there, the load shedding is there, our generating is supplying the power. So from Bangladeshi perspective, the challenges are immense. And as we have chosen this area of retailing as our profession, it can be either a retail bank, it can be a retail store, it can be a convenience store, it can be a superstore. It doesn't matter which kind of retail we have adopted. We have to ensure that our customer's experience is in the best level whenever, as long as they are within our store. So whenever the question of service comes, the customer's experience to ensure that, that becomes the leading challenge for retailers like us. So, my part actually finishes uh, as a lead consultant of CSQ. I'd like to invite our brand manager, Samia Ichkan, to talk a little bit about the practical and industry application side of the customer service in retailing. Thank you very much. It has been a pleasure. Samia. Please. Thank you, sir, for giving me the platform and to share about how we can apply this SQI and where can we reach in the near future. So you have already got the idea that what SQI is going to serve your store, serve your companies as where you can reach in the future in certain period of time. So before I begin, let me tell you or let me show you the top or renowned uh, stores or you can say the companies that have taken the service quality indexing in their terms and conditions. So the very famous brand, Victoria's Secret, is there. Uh, Burns & Noble is there. The Home Depot, Costco, the wholesale. OK. So when it comes to Costco, Tesco, sir, has already uh, made you aware about the facts that what these retailers have been doing over the years. So our, in our country, we have a lot of uh, retail services already. We have heard from. Shopno, we have heard from Agora, Mina Bazaar. So you can actually relate what is happening all over the world and where we are standing. So when you go through these journals, references, you can actually understand where are we actually standing in Bangladesh in perception to service. There is PetSmart, there is Kroger. Now, this is very important. Why SQI? Now, you must be wondering, or you must be knowing, like, I started studying business from class nine. And the very first day, when my teacher came up in the uh, class, he asked us a question. What is business? We all are doing business, right? So when it comes to what is business, the very first essential thing that we enforce on is product and services. So when we are in the practical world, dealing with meeting our demands, meeting our wants, desires, it's always the product which is giving you the solution to everything. But today in the 21st century, without service, I don't think or none of us would th think that we would actually go ahead hand in hand to be a successful entrepreneur or a business or a company. 
So why we need this SQI is you need to have that particular experience with yourself, with your customers, with your business. Then only you can reach to a height where you actually want to. Every business has a mission or vision or goals, and that has to be achieved. Do you agree with me? Right. So we, as we have these mission, vision, and goals, and how an organization is set forward, so we need to learn our experiences. We need to learn from our experiences. We need to learn how we can achieve those goals by these experiences that come from our customers. There was a time when everyone said, finance is the lifeblood of every business. But let me tell you, the scenario is changing today. Everyone says, customers or your consumers are very essential, and they are the ones who can actually let your business progress to the limelight where you want to reach. So basically, this SQI is going to let you get that experience from the point of view of your customers. So once you get the feedback from your customers, once you are understanding that what your customers need, then only you can reach those goals. For Bangladesh, let me tell you one thing. This is a very new concept which we are coming up with. Now, when you're having this, a very new concept, you yourself can set as a benchmark for your industry. So when you are scoring or when you are setting that particular score, you will be able to understand where are you actually standing in case of service in your industry. So that is why SQI is very important. Now, how can you use it? I do not need to tell much about this, because every one of you are great minds sitting in front of me, knows all the adv advertising tools. So I will not go much in details. So you can use it in your advertising tools in many ways. Rather, people over here sitting in front of me knows better ways to use this. So this is how you can use it through your advertising. Your adv advertising can be your print and media. It can be sales promotion. It can be door-to-door -door, uh, marketing. That's how you can use your SQI scores. OK. Next is let me give you a very good news from CSQE. That is, our very first client is the Palace Luxury Resort. So we are already working with them. and. We are already starting, we have already started working with them, and we are in the go. In the very soon, I think, Palace is going to set the benchmark in the hotel industry in Bangladesh here. The second good news is we are already in the final stage of signing the MOU with Brand Forum. So this is the good news from CSQ's part. Next is our consultant. The first consultant that we have is Professor Noor Azila, Noor, she is from Malaysia. Uh, we have Dr. Mark Bhutala, then Professor Dr. Tariq Aziz. You just heard him. Uh, we have Parveen Huda. You know, everyone knows her. Uh, next is Tamjit sir. Uh, I think he is here. Uh, where is Tamjit sir? Can you please raise your hand? Yes. So Tamjit sir is here, one of our consultant, and Rahan Amin sir. He's also here. So Rahan sir, please. Yes, there he is. So here are two, three, of your, three of our consultants you have already seen, and that's what is us. Now, let me tell you how we do this SQI, or Service Quality Index. How is it done? Okay. First, let us get it very clear that how we are using it. We are using it with the medium of advertising. How? I already told you, it can be print media, it can be your uh, sales promotion tools and everything else. So next are some pictures that I will say. These are just in case or in just to give you an example or set an example that, okay, so-and-so company can use the, their SQI score in that particular way. So this is a financial company uh, of America. They can use it, use their SQI score in this way. Then we have the newspaper and media. If they are you having their square score, they can use it as a number one or wherever they rank in. The pizza shop or the fast food, 
that is very famous these days. Everyone in Bangladesh goes for the refreshment to anywhere where food is available. So every re uh, restaurant, cafe can go for this SQI uh, indexing so that you know, they can put it up on their digital bi billboards, Facebook, and everywhere so that the customers are aware that, OK, so-and-so cafe or restaurant has the SQI score, so we can go there. I will be talking about the variables that we work on so that things are more clear. OK, these are the website designs and everything. We have just cited these examples as they, uh, they're just an example that we are using. OK, we knew a particular term called surf coil. Are you aware of it, right? Surf coil is the thing that worked with five major elements or variables. But for SQI, Service Quality Index, we have been working with nine variables. So these nine variables have a question of three questions that your customers are going to give you the feedback on. The very first thing that you have to keep in mind in order to do the SQI scoring is, for a B2B, we have 30, uh, 30 clients. And for B2C, it's 300 clients. We have to uh, survey them. And the next thing that we have to keep in mind is it's totally an empirical research. Why empirical? Because the whole SQI indexing depends on only your primary data. We cannot depend or we cannot rely on the secondary data. OK. So these are our privacy uh, contents. We, d we always keep our clients' information very uh, confidential. We do not disclose it without our permission from our clients. And the references that we use to get our questions from the researchers, the journals, and everything, that is our references. And that's it from my end. So this is the question and answer session. So if you have any question, please ask me. Yes, sir. Uh, we end up in, uh, in, the end result will be the experience uh, uh, the quality uh, itself, right? So uh, we, before that, we have to uh, know the voice of the, uh, take the voice of the customer of individual outlets as per how much, what is the quality level or what is the, uh, the quality that will, sa service quality which will uh, actually sat satisfy them. At the, uh, uh, moreover, uh, we often forget that uh, product has a price tag. Service has a price tag too. Whether they will be able to afford, uh, uh, maybe, you say, uh, say for example, uh, in our Jatrabari outlet or uh, some other uh, Nakhalpara outlet, will not be able to afford uh, the uh, cost that is associated with the service. Uh, which might the, uh, the Gulshan uh, outlet customers can afford it. So how do you differentiate in uh, designing the uh, quality over there? And how do you actually tag the costs associated with it? And whether, uh, because uh, you, you can't, you're running a business, um, maybe you, if, if you can consider the customer lifetime value, CSV, then, uh, then it might make sense. But in short term, it might not for you uh, uh, to deliver as per their expectation. The, uh, uh, the service expert, uh, their expectation everywhere. So you have a limitation over there uh, that you can serve only up to what they can afford. So. Under those circumstances, how do you differentiate and how do you measure for, a, say, for a Gulshan outlet and Nakhalpar outlet? Yes, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sir. Uh, wonderful question. I, I thank you very much for asking this question. Actually, the answer uh, is lies with this model by this uh, world-class retail company called Tesco. They already gave, has given the answer. The answer is very interesting. The interesting is, uh, answer is, they have different, in the same city, suppose in Italy, Milan, you have six Tesco stores. For six Tesco stores, you have to conduct the survey differently. Like store A, there should be number of customers, you take a sample size, but the same questions will be there, all the nine questions, including uh, three questions each, 27 questions. 27. These are standardized globally. You just ask those 27 questions to the store, 
to the customers of store A. Then you collect the answer. They have a SQI, service quality index number. Then again, you go to store number B. You ask questions, 27 questions to the customers of store B. Now, the most interesting part is the customer, you see the customers who actually visit store A and visit store B, that addresses your concern. The customers will be visiting the regular customers of store A. Usually, they don't visit store B. Usually, if most of the retail customers, they prefer the neighborhood stores, you know, which is convenient. Maybe it's on their office road. Maybe it's on the very close to their house. So the SQI stores from store to store will differ within the same company. Now, if a company like, suppose, Shopno wants to do an SQI, service quality indexing, the number of stores Shopno has, if you want to do it nationally, then you have to do a cluster sampling. You have to take different clusters based on your consumer. I 100% agree with you. Brilliant observation. The customers of Nyanganj will not be the same like customers of Silet. The customers of Chittagang will not be the same like customers of Uttara Dhaka. So the question is, SQI score of Shopno, Chittagang, maybe that CDS street, and SQI score of uh, Shopno customer of Joshimuddin Road in Uttara, the score will differ, but based on the same instrument. That means when the company will look at the stores, scores, you can easily find out based on the nine variable in Chittagang store, maybe part of the responsiveness area, your score is not doing well. But maybe in Uttara, based on responsiveness, your store is doing very well. Based in Narayan Ganj, your Shopno store is not doing in the aspect of reliability. But in Silet, your Shopno store is doing brilliant on reliability. Another store is not doing well on maybe credibility to the customer. That's one, another variable. But maybe in Bogura, that particular store is doing excellent on credibility. So the question is for retailers, modern day retailers like you, it's going to be a, give you a great tool. Actually, you can differentiate the store, score. And based on that, you can say, my that score, overall SQI index is 72.3%. On the other hand, if you look at Kulna, the SQI store is 86.9%. You can say, wow, the Skulna store is doing better than that store. So as the customer segment differs geographically, SQI, there is a thumb rule that uh, Sami already mentioned. You have to do empirical research. Without that, your uh, reliability will not be achieved from the research. You have to go store by store. My suggestion would be to yeah, uh, also, you know, uh, uh, whenever you talk to customer on this, you ask, what is the expectation from a retail I'm store? Really if you ask in, uh, always uh, we need to actually uh, associate the cost pa part of it. I mean, whether you are going to, uh, uh, willing to pay a little extra mm -hmm. for that service you are asking for. Uh, otherwise, you know, they will, they will ask, the, ask for the sky. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they don't yeah. uh, know that they don't have to pay for it. Exactly. You know, if you ask, uh, uh, say, uh, if you attach a pi price tag to it for the service, then, then, then the answer might, De be different because whenever you raise your price, uh, actually they might not come to you. They will uh, be going to the next shop, which is not at all. Maybe that is cheap, any cheaper than this one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So when uh, the in this uh, part of the world, uh, when the price tag comes in, when the cost comes in, many people do vary to you know uh, the service they actually uh, can afford. You know. This, uh, to, yeah. to add a little bit description yeah. to your Itakesh, just finish. Yeah. 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 Uh, let me share with this. This model actually first started in 1934, the model that we use for calculating SQI. In this model, there are nine factors. Let me explain to you. First one is reliability, exclusively for the retailers. Right. Second is responsiveness. Third one is assurance. Fourth is empathy. Uh, fifth one is tangibles, which is infrastructure and online connectivity systemization of service delivery, communication, access, and security. If you look at the nine factor, the first is SurfQual model, which was created in 1934. Right. That's the SurfQual model. That model, if you look very carefully, you will see there are five factors. But right after 1976 and onwards, now there are nine factors. Mm -hmm. Now the question is, the five major factors in SurfQual are, as retailers, if you look at, that is reliability. How much trust your customers have on you? The second factor, that is responsiveness. How fast you are actually addressing three issues of the customer. Uh, questions, feedback, inquiry. Third one, assurance. How much your customers trust your retail store? Now, whenever we are talking about the Narangan store, the local people who actually visit that store, how much they are actually trusting your store? 
the trust comes with the service you see that the fourth point empathy are your services being designed by keeping your customers in mind that's a very interesting and important question for modern retailers like us your service has it been designed by keeping your customers in mind or not then you look at the tangible infrastructure your premises your the support factors you are giving the online connectivity how fast your payment actually doing if i'm using a mobile phone to pay how fast can i make the transaction these are all tangible these five are the original surf qual factors variables which were created in 1934 it got matured till 1966 67 after during the end of 70s actually it modern retail became more complicated than the four new factors were born in the sixth one is systemization of service delivery how brilliantly you can deliver the service effectiveness and efficiency then you go to communication how brilliant are you communicating with your customer if your customer send you a feedback by email if you're answering that email after maybe 3 days you have lost it if you're answering within 30 minutes brilliant you're on on the, on the, on the hook then access is are the services available to your customer or not Uh, can they easily go to your store or not if you have a store it's also online access as well as physical access if your store is located on a fourth story building on the third floor then you have to ask yourself okay does it serve the purpose of my customers or not is it convenient for them to reach that third level or fourth level easily or not last one is security last 3 years this topic has been well researched let me tell you from the retail research perspective online research online transactions have taken the 90% of the momentum on security part because there are many cases in bangladesh particularly we know i have many friends from banking industry sitting there so the question is you know banking industry whenever we are talking about retail banking services the security have many times over the last 10 years have been compromised you agree with me there have been many issues do you remember the cases i have not mentioned the names different different banks what happened in the atm transactions so the question is security actually has become a big part in also sqi calculation so whenever we are to want to talk about delivering service to my consumer the retailer has to be confident number one second all these scores like it is written on the top right side of the slide it has to come from empirical research the major power and the flavor of sqi is it is totally driven from consumer research the retailers has to be very honest and specific about it nothing to say on that your customers will fill up the questionnaire based on the feedback we'll do the on the weighted average method we have to do the calculation after that on a percentage basis you're going to get a score called service that's your service quality index so all these nine variables 100% keep those factors that you mentioned in their mind and be designed it like that thank you any other question please do we have any more question yes please hi i'm tamid zaman i'm the co-founder of best electronics so we have worked with something like this before it was for the satisfaction index so you have the service quality index so for us to have a better understanding could you please give some example of the questions that you are going to ask our customers okay. okay thank you very much excellent question uh, can i go to the module please uh, you see uh, the, the the factors variables we are talking about to calculate sqi if you look at uh, uh, tangibles this factor for best electronics for an electronics company like yourself uh, the three questions those are going to determine the tangible the score on tangible will be totally different for ashraf bhai's arom you understand electronics retail is totally different from you know artifacts retailing fashion retailing or lifestyle retailing so the question is you can ask me where do we get those questions because those questions will determine the acceptability of the research finding right so those question will 100% come from the existing literature we are not in a position to determine the questions of each one of them we have to borrow those questions from the existing literature so this calculation is purely a very academic research so the questions on tangibility if i ask from based electronics uh, you, we can ask the customers three questions something like how how much you are confident when you walk into a based electronics store you understand there can be there can be a likert scale extremely comfortable not comfortable at all or 5 and 1 so these three questions we have to borrow these three questions from academic journals and literatures otherwise we don't your our research will not be reliable to the outside world so for our own we have to have different questions yes okay please. so since you mentioned the likert scale yes. so we face some problem with the likert scale our consumers or customers or shoppers they actually get confused you how much is 1 yes. how much is 8 how much is 
So what do you think of this? Okay. We have we, <laughs> exactly the so, factors are already mentioned in the questionnaire. Like when the customer is going to rate you, it's already given the five scales that it's excellent, good bad poor so, so we, it's we yeah it's five, it's a five point. and we have the scoring for each one two three four five so according to that we do our uh, average weighted method to get your sqi score let me help samina samia on that uh, the, i have actually seen uh, sqi calculation in the transportation sector with nine point liker scales so when your question of confusion come just consider that customer who is answering a nine point liker scale can you believe that so I don't know how this comes. It is an airline's industry. I remember it's an Air Asia research. They say that they provide an SQI calculation with nine point Likert scale. Extremely good take it. They, the time they reach extremely bad, there are nine points. Let me tell you. Uh, customers, when they fill, uh, filled up that questionnaire form, it was in Singapore, they found it very difficult to do that. So globally, uh, most of the SQI studies, they are based on five point Likert scales. Extremely good, good, no comments, oblique, I don't know bad, extremely bad. So we have to make sure that the questions are easier for the customers to answer actually. So we have to ensure that. And as we are borrowing the questionnaires from the literature, these are most already tested in different different industries. But for Bangladesh, you, we always can modify the questions a little bit without touching the core essence of the questionnaire. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you so question. much. Wonderful question. Yes, please. I know it's lunch time. I know. I apologize for that. <laughs> We can have the other questions in our Facebook page, I guess. Yes, yes, yeah. I can. I think so, the questions yeah. we can answer them. Right. Sure. We Thank, have you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Muhammad Arikaziz and Ms. Samiha Hussain Khan for the valuable insights on service retail. If you have any further question, you can either join our Facebook group, which is BD Retail Congress, or you can join our uh, write on our Facebook page with hashtag BD uh, Retail Congress and hashtag Modern Retail, and you can ask your questions there. Now.